Hey folks, Quilly King here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Victoria 3 as Belgium. We have recently completed a war against the Netherlands, take Friesland, which I think is new great things for us. And, you know, I kind of suspect what might happen is once the truce comes up, our infamy is going to be burned away by then, probably. We might just take the rest of this. I decided to start incorporating Friesland. We haven't incorporated a single state throughout an entire uh, playthrough, which again was not done through any kind of min-maxing or optimization. It was just done as part of our theme. These others over here don't get incorporated into our nation. However, with our Dutch kind of brethren over here, I think it makes a lot more sense. And in fact, it's a very rapid incorporation because of the shared cultural heritage and all that. Mountain of Madness. Oh, this is our expedition to Antarctica. Ooh, the expedition spots the twin volcanic peaks of Erebus and Terra on the horizon. When they were first discovered by James Clark Ross, Erebus was observed to be an eruption. Thankfully, we found the mountain at peace. Move on quickly, minor progress. Collect samples. Or ascend. No, we'll just move on here for the progress. That's going to be fine with me. I did tweak a bunch of building modes before we started. We'll see how those shake out. Still trying to... Uh, ooh, electrical shortage in Ghana. No, Shad doesn't have any. You have a power plant. Oh, let's switch you to coal fired. There we go. That's going to fix your shortage right there. You still have another thing in the queue as well, but that's going to be okay. Um, in Friesland, we are trying to get these oil rigs up and running. They are being employed very aggressively, which is good. The local price of oil here isn't that high, but we still have overall in our market a fair amount of demand for it, which makes sense. Trans Antarctic Mountain. Expedition has advanced through eternal days with snow, marching until finding the impenetrable site of the Transantarctic Mountains. A new challenge awaits as their routes have been scarcely documented. Find a new route. Okay, one third, one third, one third. Are we taking Nona Perch? No, I mean, this has got a two thirds chance of working out in our favor. I didn't see anything about getting us. Well, it says low peril. I don't know if that changed. Maybe we got a bad roll. We didn't get a proper pop up for it. Anyway, that I noticed anyway. Okay, Chad doesn't have any power, so I did put this at the top of the list to try to get going um, so that we could tweak some of their building modes uh, once they've got that. I wonder what would happen if I just dropped the subsidies on the power plants. I mean, we'd save a ton of cash. As a reminder, right now, we are running extremely high taxes. There you go, power plant is a go and is trying to hire. Now, right now, the price of electricity is low because nothing was trying to do it. But if we switch you, for example, to assembly lines, that's going to shoot up the price of electricity. I thought. I thought. Oh, OK. I guess it dropped immediately again. Um, automatic blowers. Building workshops can have an assembly line as well. Good. Oh, and machine steel tools. Yeah, there you go. That's profitable and a much better mode for you to be going in. And again, consumes more electricity. Um, railway here. I was going to say, I'll go to an electric car, but you don't actually need it. Livestock ranches. How about electric fences? That makes you more profitable. Wool gathering seems to be a good profit option as well. Mechanized slaughterhouses and the refrigeration that's going to cause the price of electricity to shoot up it's only by plus nine it's only because this is still hiring and their things rebalancing but if you get another hiring tick actually electricity price is still low so there we go as we're generating a little bit more that's going to be okay all right that's going to be good for chad they still have a general lack of workers which is a problem we keep having and i can't close down any buildings well you want to do a swap? I don't I suspect the answer is no to this. So you want me to give up this chunk of land here and you'll give me you'll give me Timbuktu, but Timbuktu will be cut off if we do that. No, I decline. That's crazy talk. Low access, although we are still yeah, we're I just built some railroad in those places, so hopefully those will fix themselves up. Oil rigs are a go-go. And I do some more universities because we actually aren't at the cap anymore. I mean, we're basically there, but I want to I want to get a few. We want to help with some of the qualifications as well in a few places. And if we could overkill things, that's great. 
Nej, hello. This is what we were hoping for. Oh my God, look at the oil rigs. I mean, we have nowhere near enough people to work this. Can I... Greener grass campaign. Encourage to people to move over here. Yeah, right now they're migrating out. But... Yeah. Now, out of curiosity, we could use this as a test. Not costing us much. If I did this. Your cash reserves are still going up. I'm going to propose, although you're losing employment, but they might just be moving. I'm going to propose that we say I'm no longer going to subsidize power plants. We may have to do it on a case-by-case -case basis, but we're going to do that. Money goes up like crazy. And the idea is now we can compensate for that. I'm going to drop the taxes one notch. See what this does. It said it was minus 100, but it's clearly not quite there. Some of these predictions are a little off. And if we go here, it says it would drop another 100k, which may or may not be accurate. Now, right now, we're making profit while constructing, so we can afford to cancel some of this dog meat. Oh, supplies are running low for the Antarctic explorers. The crew debates the merits of killing some of the sled dogs and dividing the meat between the men and the remaining dogs to increase their odds of survival. Practical thing to do. Ate the dogs, lose prop popularity. Must not stoop. Well, if anyone has watched my RimWorld games or my Dwarf Fortress games, you know we might be willing to do this sort of thing. So that's what's going to happen. Okay, now we're getting complaints about electricity shortages in a couple of places. So in those places, I'm going to subsidize the power plants. And from time to time, I might reset all the power plants to non-subsidized. to see how things go. Oh, actually... Coal fired. Hold on. Coal fired. I'm still going to subsidize them for now. You were already cold fired as well. Okay. Make sure to keep hiring because we need the electricity to keep things going. Um, Nej, actually, this is the first place I remove the subsidies. If I go and do this. Yeah, you're attempting to hire. Your cash reserve is going up. I think, and yeah, the electricity price is now balanced because of the coal. So you're okay. Belgian Northern Cape. What I might do for these is if they weren't coal fired already, I'm still a little leery about doing it globally because I think we only have so much coal to go around. I'm going to go and do these first, and we'll let the game tick for a little bit, and then see if we still need to subsidize. Now here, this is interesting. Actually, you're still hiring. No, you are, you're trying to hire, but I guess it's not working out. Okay, I'm going to subsidize you. And you can see the coal prices are a little higher than the baseline, so... One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Just my obsession with trying to get round numbers. One, two, three, four. Okay. A little bit more coal. Okay, Herrero land. I can never remember where this is. And then Northern Cape. This must be down here. You want me to give up this chunk of land. And you'll give me the rest of Harrow. That does clean up our borders a lot. Now, I think... Oh. I just meant to close the window so I wouldn't... It wouldn't be in my way. I should have hit the minimize button. Let's say there are gold mines here, so we might not want to give it up. Although you have input shortages. Oh, that's the electricity. Which again, I just changed the mode. Missed the mark. Oh no! Expedition realized they have overshot their route. Next supply depot. Push on, we can do it without supplies. I think we can afford to lose some progress, which is what happened. It's totally not slavery, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, so we're making 13 powers. Any chance this is going up? You're trying to hire. We have failed to hire. Okay, I will enable that, and then in Togo as well. Oh, it's already subsidized, okay. Actually, even if you're fully employed, we might still have an electricity expense. Maybe not a shortage. So we're short by 81. Yeah, no, we, I think we should build a second one of these. Then we'll end up with a surplus, but that's okay. Okay, money's still positive, despite the fact that we're constructing. Building these government administrations, because there was a shortage of tax collection in a few places, although that might not be the actual issue. Um, 
I can probably stop worsening relations over here. Good. Telephones are expensive. We did fix our freaking um, oil shortage, though. Are you hiring? You're producing 26. You're not subsidized. All right, let's throw it on. Help them offer higher wages. Oh, hold on. Let's do this first. There we go. Produce more power and theoretically in a more profitable way. All right. Vriskirat, however this is pronounced. Okay, you are already on coal production, so I will subsidize you. Interest activated. I haven't actually looked at that. I'm sure I can declare a few more interest in places, but... I don't know if this matters. Maybe there's some trading options. Not that I've been very active in trade for a while. It's probably worth taking a time. I really haven't looked at this in a bit. First of all, can we export grain? Mm, yeah, okay. Actually, most of the time there's been an excess of grain and just no demand for it. Um, export some fabric? No, no one really wants that. We can export some hardwood. Some cigars, some tobacco. Yes. We're not sitting on infinite amount of convoys, but... Clothing exports. Fruit, I suspect. Oh, there is actually some markets for it. Okay. Um, furniture? Sure. We had like a wicked excess of that, right? Yeah. 2.5k, so... Oh, these are pretty... Oh, no, that's 151. Okay. We'll run all of those. Liquor, we've got a 2k excess. Oh, yeah. It's been a while since I've gone through these lists. Furniture, again... Oh, no, no one wants any of that. Luxury furniture. Sugar? Oops. One of those I didn't want to click on. I don't understand why sometimes when you click on the route, it disappears, and sometimes it doesn't. And I'm paused, so it's not like it's a processing difference, because you would think it would all process or it wouldn't. Okay, let me flip the other way around. Any chance anyone wants to give us coal? No. Um, steel, apparently. Okay. Bring some of that in. We might want to go and increase our own steel production. Oil! Ah, the French market does actually have some. Okay, that's a first. Cars? Cars continue to be a thing that aren't being produced. We also have an engine shortage. So we clearly need a bigger motor industry because I can't just convert the motor industry to be making cars because we still have the need for um, engines. So yeah, all we'd be doing is taking jobs from some other industry. Motor, 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 motor. Okay. Do it. This kind of still has to be split. Before, oh, wow, that is... Okay, I'll exempt these. Although it's probably from a shortage of power, yes? Or is it going to... No, the oil stuff goes through the roof. Oh, Wallonia, you should be on full assembly lines. My dude. Not even going to free up that many workers, but still. Would any of these be profitable? This is what I'm hoping to do. Uh, hold on. Screwed up my view here. Um... Because, yeah, I'd like to free up workers. Okay, that's about break-even. Although your power situation is crazy. Belgian North Cameroon. Yeah, you just... Oh, mostly you need to hire. Um, all right, let me subsidize you. That should help. Wow. Electricity... Oh, and Zambezi's got the electricity shortage as well. Well, we can go coal-fired. Okay, that fixed you. Chad, I just built the power plant. Go coal fired. Are you going to hire on your own? Eight employees. 
tick, 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 tick. No, could not. Okay, we're going to subsidize you. I mean, there, it might still be difficult, but I mean, presumably what's going to happen is the wages are going to keep going up. There we go, until you can steal some people. But we don't, we only want so many. We only want, like, that many. Look, now the power situation is fine. And now you're going to generate too many, although it might mean in Chad here. That's profitable. It needs more automobiles, but let's do that. Electric streetlights. We're going to start consuming electricity. Oh, arcade mode. Okay, so we never messed with any of your modes here in Chad. Photographic, independent artists. I want this. Motor industry, electrics. Yes. Assembly line. Yes. This would be profitable. There you go. Yeah, we'll do that. And then if we went to public traded, you would make more money. So we'll do this. This is shooting up the price of electricity, but it's fine because we will keep hiring people for electrical work. That's profitable, and we've got the oil to support it. Paper bleaching, rotary, yep, that's good. Textile mills, electric sewing machine would not be profitable, probably because of the electricity price. This might be okay. Oh, we're paused. We're getting little pop-ups here. Uh, tooling, machined, assembly line, good. Oil rigs, yeah, you're on the biggest modes here. Livestock ranches. Yeah, we can consume more grain. We've got an excess of fabric, but we've got a wicked excess of grain anyway. You can do that, and you're not, you don't have anyone in your employ regardless. Railway was set fine. Oh, no, you can go to electric trains. I know the price of electricity is high right now, but we're going to just hire more people, and it's going to fix itself almost instantly. Because I don't think we have a massive shortage of electricity. Yeah, minus 20. So we only need a quarter of this power plant in operation. Ooh, we've unlocked Dreadnoughts. Can we... I don't... With the Navy, you can't do the upgrade. This has been set to Dreadnoughts, but we can't actually upgrade our ships to it. Yeah, that's fine. Chad, electricity shortage, but... You're hiring? Hey, first flight. War Machines Industry, which will also be used to make tanks. You are hiring, right? Yeah, we don't have the little X that it failed. There we go. That's going to go up, making more power. You should be okay. Do we go straight to mobile armor? Sure, let's do it. Now, I'm going to go... It's job seekers. I don't know how much I can trust it, but... Let's build a war machines industry here. Yeah, it can be publicly traded. That's going to be fine. We'll start to put out some planes. Now, I suspect... We probably have a mode uh, for our military. Yeah. We need some airplanes to exist. Battle occupation, rapid advance chance, minus 50% loss chance. Actually, how important is the reconnaissance? The occupation, the surprise maneuver chance is nice. So... Oh, I don't think it's a replacement. I think we can run both of these. So this reduces the chance that we get lost. I don't know how much that matters. Oh, I didn't realize we could get luxurious supplies for armies. Let's for sure get those running. We might have to rebalance some economy stuff, but we'll see. Market access here. Is your railway? Yeah, having issues. I mean, there's no real need for the transportation either. Now, some of this might be some mode changes that could happen. Hmm. First flight. Look, I'm a bird. 15% per speed. I was going to say, we dropped down to fifth, but actually just doing that. Oh, it's because Austria is doing well. Did put us back in the third, but only barely. Economy, the curve's not going up as quickly as it was. Although we're still taxing people fairly aggressively, so that might not be helping. Let's drop the taxes down to the middle road right now for a little bit. Which is probably going to do good things to the economy. Okay, more universities being built weren't directly boosting the economy, but should be okay. Finish capitalist revolt. No, I'm not interested in joining in that. Okay, yeah, we're well above the cap now, which may have been a little overkill. 
On the other hand, it does help with tech spread. Not that we have a whole lot of tech left to go. And then fin no. Not interested in joining in on that. Although, ooh, that is a heck of a deficit. Um, were we allied to Finland? Maybe that's what the call was doing. Wow, our uh, weekly money is dramatically tweaking around. No state with enough infrastructure for private construction. Lack technology or workforce needed for railway. It's the workforce part of the railway equation that's being problematic here. Um, yeah, railway's still being fully subsidized, right? Yeah. Do I want to force these? Qualification issue. Can I scroll down the tooltip? No, that's a little annoying. Oh, Wallonia, are you not on freaking electric trains yet? My dude. No wonder we were having some infrastructure sh issues there. Okay. And yeah, it doesn't reduce the number of people we need. It just changes them from one employment to another. Hmm. What the power plants? That would cost a lot. That would only cost a little, but you know what? I'm going to do it. It fixes the electricity price. Well, it crashes the electricity price, but... So be it. That one's actually profitable. Hmm. Not even that coal is expensive. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to force all these power plants to coal fire because what might be happening right now is some of these power plants... We, we might be overbuilding power plants, um, including by the uh, capitalists, right? Overbuilding power plants because if they're not consuming coal, we need more of them. So I'm going to do this now to prevent them from being overproduced. And so here you just need some subsidies because you have no employees. And again, what I might do at some point is go and disable the subsidies globally, see who's broken, and then re-enable them afterwards. But yeah, we'll try to do it bit by bit. Trade routes removed. Okay. Did a country cease to exist? Is what I'm wondering. We just, we already turned on the subsidies over here, did we not? We did. Okay. You might, mm, I was going to say, you might legit need more. No, once this is fully employed, you'd actually be fine. Okay. But yeah, the rest of the businesses in here is having going to have a hard time with this. But I suspect you do have a half a million job seekers. So if we're offering higher pay, this should continue to employ. 69 power. Nice. Picks up. 78. Good. Is it still a shortage? It's still a shortage. But yeah, that's going to fix itself. Okay. Good. Uh, money's going up because we're not really constructing very much. And that's okay. And yeah, we did cancel the... Our taxes are back down to normal. Oh, I didn't realize I was still overpaying on the military wages. herp derp Okay. I could cancel some of the consumption taxes, but... I don't know. They always seem fine to me. Okay, I think the GDP is starting to tick up better now. Yeah, I think lowering the taxes really made a big difference. Wealth voting, yeah, that's not going to happen. We haven't gotten a tick on our Antarctic expedition for a while. I hope they're not lost. Are we still having in the Suez? That never finished. Is it because of the employment thing? And you're subsidizing everything. There's just not enough people over available here. I guess if we had more of Sine, then that might be all right. Shopkeepers and Orban sat are satisfied with their current employment. Let's check to see if there's any mode changes I could be doing anywhere that might switch to arcades. Actually employs more shopkeepers. You know, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, those are all profitable changes. So that's going to be okay. Shipyard. Set up some mines, but I don't want to do that. This power plant over here. Yeah, power is basically free here. Although, there we go. This will create a demand for electricity. Although, the rest of it doesn't really matter right now. You know what? I'm still going to do it because I want to be... I want to have my buildings in a similar mode.
So, yeah, no, we still don't have much. We don't need very many employees to serve all the power we need in this state. Yeah, I'd really have to go and conquer more stuff there. If I want to. Although, speaking of, what's my infamy? And what's the truce timer with the Netherlands, if it still exists at all? 21 months left. Well, hello. That sounds pretty good. Um, I don't think everything should be on the switchboard mode. I don't know, these places... Do we have anywhere that still has a tax shortage? And if they do... Well, Benin, are you on... You are on the switchboard mode. And it's only... It's barely, but that might have been a candidate for it. All right, let's not worry then. Okay, money's very positive. Which is good, because we're going to be... Subsidizing some more power plants. That's Zululand. Belgian Equator. Equator. Oops, that's market access. And this place, I think we were already subsidizing. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Power plant. We were not subsidizing. Okay. Done, done. We can establish a new company. What kind of company might we want to do? This increases our prestige. Increases rubber industry mortality. Oh, Company of the Congo. I mean, if we're leaning into the we are really the evil bad guys. I don't think I care about Livestock Ranch throughput. If you're radicals, more influence. Oh, we can get prestige this way. It doesn't increase. Oh, it would not currently increase in productivity. Yeah. Migrant and traction. Is this globally? Because I know it's the oil corporation of Niger, but it might be globally. And we do have a few things in our sphere of influence, but not much. <sighs> All right, let's, you know what? Let's be completely freaking evil. Boop. Completely freaking evil. Yeah, we keep getting these hell on earth messages, which I'm not reading. We're just going to click through and accept that we are the bad guys. Okay, we're not building anything right now. Oman wants an alliance. No. I don't think you're going to be helping me against the second Dutch war, so let's not do that. We have oil now. Screw it, we're going to give our troops flamethrowers now. Yeah. And then that will complete... We have a journal entry, which I don't think is timed. Oh, maybe it was. Okay, so we're not going to do the flamethrower thing. A communist party formed. All right. Telephones are expensive. Um... I think for that, we just need an electrics company built. Well, I just never have enough people. Is my population going up? Not as quickly as I'd like. Maybe we should have made friends with the religious people, because I think they can boost that. No peasants, no unemployed. Am I doing something that's just completely weird compared to everyone else, or does everyone always have staffing shortages? Man. Man, this is just moving workers from one to another. I wonder, is there's no way for us to look at these. It would be nice to get a, a breakdown. You know when you build, right? It tells you sort of the predicted earnings, although oftentimes this is weird and wonky and not accurate. It would be great if when I'm looking at this mode is if it could sort buildings like these modes, like show me where it would be profitable like here look this is an increase in profit great here it's not but i can't do it without checking into oops individually on each tooltip and then it resets my view which is annoying here let's go to the bottom uh, we have a lot of these i mean maybe if i was in an economic model where i could downsize some of these buildings it would be good because that might be part of some of our issues but i can't downsize them you know, and then the capitalists keep building things in all kinds of weird ways. But it is good because we want the quote-unquote free buildings in places. But sometimes they are eating up some people. I don't know, maybe I should let some of these buildings be unproductive so that they don't hire people the same way? I mean, that seems insane. I 
Maybe about break even. Again, complaining about qualifications, but you know what? If you can't satisfy them, they'll go work somewhere else. Maybe you should get like one university in every state. I don't know. I think, yeah, I think I looked at a lot of these. Okay, so we've moved a few more things over there. Sure city shortage here. Okay, we'll subsidize you. So be it. When are we going to finish incorporating Friesland? Okay, we're about halfway through. Okay, money's insane. Oh, yeah, right, because I'm not constructing. Because why would I construct anything anywhere? I don't have any employees. Meanwhile, I mean, private stuff is still being constructed and soaking up more workers. Oh, yeah, that's why you don't have all your infrastructure. Communist rallies. Oh, the intellectuals are the Communist Party. Hmm. I don't think I want to go communist this time. Texas Party partisans will handle these miscreants. Yep, we're going to show these reds what violence looks like. Because it seems like the jerk move. French socialists are welcome here. No. Try to limit, find and expel all of the traitors. So, I mean, these are our uh, intelligentsia. We actually might lose their influence completely. Wow, the petit bourgeoisie have really shot up a lot. Any laws? Ethno state. I mean, it kind of sounds like the jerk move, but I don't want to. Wow, the petit bourgeoisie are problematic. It'll, you know what? We are going to do a socialist run of this game where we really pump up the trade unionists. I wonder, should I support them now? It would be kind of ironic. Actually, are you not part of the communist movement? Communist party? Does it say... No, your Belgian workers party. Um, would be interesting to make a move now, but one of the things that they would do is they're the ones that support uh, old age pension, which actually is fairly useful. I... I don't know if we're going to turn on chemical weapons mode. Fertilizer. You know what? Yeah, we are. I mean, it sounds evil. Of course we're going to go with chemical weapons and use it against the Dutch. Of course we are. How could we do anything else? GDP per capita, number one worldwide. Number three worldwide for overall GDP, despite not having the biggest population at all. Okay, we are third. Austria making some big strides, though. Um, Netherlands, 99 battalions, and we actually would have gained some in the war too, which is great. If I double check my military, are there any upgrades to be done? I'm just going to say I'm pretty sure the answer is yes. Yeah, everything going to mechanized infantry. So I'm happy I remember to check that before we got around to wartime. So is our chemical warfare going to be our trigger? 18 months away? Oh, oh we need 10. Hold on. Oh, shite. Right. We need to make some tanks. We need war machine industries. I don't know how many we're going to need. But I'm going to prep quite a few. And I think... Probably at the bottom. Not motor industries. War machines. You're going to include tank production in here. And I can't subsidize you, which is a bit annoying. You're still producing some planes, right? Yeah. Now you should be profitable. You're going to need oil, which... Any chance anyone else is willing to export oil? We can get a little from Argentina. Nezd doesn't have much in the way of job seekers, but I'll go ahead and build three more oil rigs in there anyway. Market balance minus 58 is not much as long as the war machines industries is actually hiring people. Which it's you want laborers. 
If you accept a wage of 5.13, well, just hiring target. Yeah, pay them more. A demand. We don't have the demand for planes. I guess, right, what I'm going to do is maybe I'll start with a smaller army. Let me throw on the reconnaissance here. I hate that doesn't show us the... You know what? Screw it. We'll turn it on for everything. And then we can we can turn it off or rebalance things afterwards. Okay, well, we have lots of these War Machines Industries now. Ooh. Oh, play against Communist Cuba. I think I've seen this one before. Electricity shortage in Dahomey, which is almost certainly, yeah, just not employment. Okay. Um, hello, Deficit. I suspect this might be some of the military goods. Tanks are expensive. I'm assuming we can't import them from anywhere. No. Okay, the absolute shortage did go away, which is good. There, market balance is starting to shrink. Good. I may have actually built too many more machine stuffs than you do. Uh, a mountain. Oh, this is the event we've seen before. We're going to take option one, which just we rolled them more apparel, which is annoying. Respectful doctor from the University of Hasselan has been conducting newfangled investigations in the camp of psychiatry, emphasizing the role that the unconscious mind and birds' childhood memories play in psychological pathologies. Supported psychoanalysts, we get 10% university building throughput. Hmm. Sigmund Freud will become the intelligentsia leader. High popularity. All right, let's do it. Totally. He may continue his investigations at university. All right. Joins the movement to enact presidential republic. Well, we may have to at some point. Okay. There we go. More tanks being made. Market price, there we go, is no longer 100% capped, which means you don't have a shortage, and this should keep shrinking here. Although, yeah, we still have a huge deficit right now. And the oil has, continues to be a problem that I don't know how to solve. All the oil rigs, I'm assuming... Oh, hold on. This is going to eat a lot more. Oh, it's just going to tank the price of fabric, which is not very helpful. What about dye? I mean, it would be profitable. Maybe I can do this for some of you guys. There you go. This doesn't... Mer I didn't actually confirm that that was a profitable one here, but it is. Um, and yeah, we have, we have too much fabric as is. Maybe the ones that currently aren't profitable, we can do a few. I just don't want to overshoot it. Tea, very profitable. Tanks the price of tea, but again, might be a good candidate for the ones that aren't profitable. We'll do a few of yours, especially if it doesn't drop the price of tea into the ground. I'll just do a few and we can make some more adjustments as we go. Tobacco... I mean, it could open up some exports, although I think we're already exporting tobacco. Yeah, it's already pretty cheap. Sugar, same thing. Bananas, absolutely the same thing. Logging camps. Ooh, that is going to kill the price of wood. So that's not profitable to do everywhere, which is a little surprising to me. Oops. Ah! Lose money. Okay, this one would be profitable because I guess electricity is fairly cheap. That's a big part of it. It does free up some laborers. Maybe it's worth just forcing everyone to refrigerate it. You know what? I'm going to do it and then we'll probably have to rebalance some electricity things after. But yeah, we're going to force that. Same thing with the whaling with the idea to free up some workers. Uh, what was I looking for? Oil rigs. Oh, there. Yeah, all the oil rigs are on the most advanced modes over here. Interestingly enough, it predicts that both of these would be a profitable change. All right, you know what? We'll go and set all the oil rigs to publicly traded. Um, Somewhere in automatic expansion. I'll turn that off for now. Oh, you're doing that annoying thing where you show me the weird exclamation mark, which I hate. Okay. 
force that on, unpause. I was gonna say will lead to an electricity shortage, uh, which is employment shortage. Which actually they may have fixed themselves over here because now there might be more demand that wasn't before. But I'll go ahead and subsidize them anyway. Okay, running a deficit, but that's while we're constructing more war machines, which. Tanks are still expensive, but oh, right, they're still hiring. Yeah, this number, this um, deficit is shrinking here. But I think we're, we may want a surplus just to be able to deal with when the war starts. Still fluctuating in odd ways here. Do we really have some infrastructure shortages? Let me double check that globally our railways... Okay. Oh, that's too many. Hey, right, screw it. We're going to force all the railways to be electrified as well. And... Okay, since I don't know what represents a genuine shortage, I'm going to have to... subsidize all power plants for now. Let this run for a little bit, and then places that still have a shortage uh, might mean we need to build some more stuff. Hawaii, I don't want a defensive pact with you. No offense, but I don't think you're going to be a big global player. Did we start to... No, it's doing the fluctuating trade route things. Which might still be a sign that I should build more ports. Okay, we still... Oh, let's see, they're sort of fixing themselves. Yeah, you're nowhere near fully hired. Probably the same case here. Yep. Now, are you going to be able to... Engineers, machinists... Not great because it is hurting everything else. But hey, maybe if the other industries aren't profitable because they have an electricity shortage, they'll fire some of their workers, and then more people will move into the power plants and it'll fix itself. We are currently running a deficit while not construction, constructing, but we are, of course, subsidizing all of these um, electrical industries. Now, what I maybe could do is desubsidize them in a few targeted states to start off with. Still have a tank shortage. Oy, oy, oy. And then, oh, here's what I can do. In the market, I can sort by electricity and where the price of electricity is super cheap, no longer subsidize you. Um, can I not do that? Oh my God. I can change your modes. Oh, you're incredibly annoying. I can go to Bel... No, that's the market. I can go here to Belgian Mozambique, the state, then go and find the power plant, then cancel the subsidies. Actually, you really don't have a lot of workers here, so that's not... I'm sorry, do you have no buildings? Well, the state is basically non-existent. What should I build in this state? Logging is not going to be a big money maker. Oh crap. Okay, well definitely don't subsidize it. But, oh, that is really unhelpful. Okay, this place is an actual big balance boost. Uh, can I access this? I guess I can go here to the state, then the power plant, then say don't bother subsidizing this. Hmm, I don't think that was the right way to do this. Okay. Do I go back to plan, don't subsidize any of them? and then turn them on bit by bit. See, now our finances are great. 
and then the places with the shortages, we go and subsidize them again. I guess. It's gotta be an easier way to do this. I do, and I think some of the problem might still be solved with a 1.7 patch. It's Niger, so we'll go to Mortania. Uh, Friesland, oh, Friesland's got a power shortage. Hold on, we're gonna get back to Friesland in a second. Compression ignition unlocked. Diesel engines for the motor industries. Okay, that's gonna take a bunch more oil. It doesn't actually decrease the power used, but it does make a lot more engines. Oh, wow, we were gonna turn, we we're gonna turn these on for a lot of things. Um, yeah, let me come back to Friesland. Oh, that's already it's Transvaal, so Zambezia. We're spending more time managing this power balance than anything else. And it's probably something I'm missing. I'm sorry, I've recorded three episodes in the same day here, so if people have posted a solution, it's not one I'm going to be able to respond to. All right, Friesland. What's your situation with the power? Is it legit? Well, you're legit, not fully hired, which is surprising to me because it's so, so profitable. Labor is in the motor industry. I want to move. Okay, let's hold off on. The, well, you, okay, hold on. I will subsidize a power plant here, but I might go and turn it off later. The big thing is we've unlocked some new modes for some things like the motor industry. If we go to diesel engines. Yeah, see, it does stop consuming electricity. Consumes more oil, including potentially leading to an oil shortage. So one thing, so Friesland has a motor industry and an electrical shortage. So moving you to diesel would be great because it'll solve your power shortage immediately. All right, automobile, that's all good. What I need, yeah, I need I need a different sort of spreadsheet system. So this place has the power shortage. So again, you're a good candidate for moving the diesel engine. If you have a motor industry and you do diesel engine. Um, Niger. Uh, oh, up there. I don't know, it's not alphabetical. There we go. Mauritania. This is actually fixing all the uh, power shortages in these places motor industry we do want a lot of motor industry so i can't blame the capitalists for building a bunch of them we are going to need some more oil potentially but that'll just be the next problem to deal with oh north cameroon transvaal and zambezia i uh, does not have one but i did go and subsidize you um, how's the railway? I wonder, you might not need... Oh, you could switch to diesel trains. That's the other thing to do. But we are going to have to respond with the oil industry going cray-cray. Again, confirm for the 17 million time. Oil rigs are at full modes. Whether or not they're fully hired, you can't... Yeah, see, shortages... Although it's only one person. And I can't subsidize you, so. Actually, I don't even know if I can build more. Yes, here, but <coughs> I don't think Nejd has the population. You have a few job seekers, but that's it. And yeah, you're not fully hired. So even if I built more of these, it wouldn't necessarily be helpful. Although, let's assume maybe you can keep pulling people out of other jobs here. Oil rigs need higher productivity if you want to compete for employees. Yeah, not so much. If I change you to privately owned, that will increase your income. And if engines continue to be cheap... Actually, yeah, so you over here, we're going to switch you to diesel engines, which is going to tank the price of electricity in this state. But you'll consume more of your own oil, which seems like it's okay. And assembly line to free up more workers. Okay, actually, there might be a little bit more we can do here. Yeah, you're not on all the latest and greatest. 
I think you might be a bit of a car industry. Um, electrics with the radio. No, you would lose productivity, so we're not going to do that. Or you would lose um, profitability. Arms industry continues to be this like weird ass thing. Oh, wait, hold on. We can do this, though, the assembly line. Okay, you're already on that. Electric sewing machine. Profitable, we'll do it. This actually requires more employees, so we may not bother with that one. Tooling workshops, yes. And on assembly line, okay. And the shipyards, there's not really anything for us to do there. Fishing wharves, you've got the refrigeration. Oh, we can go to telephone switchboard, which actually hires more people overall. And this power plant is not currently being subsidized, but might be okay. Okay, there you go. You are hiring more. I'm going to queue up like five more buildings here. I guess I could put the auto expand on these as well. Which I guess I did have a second ago. Okay. Electricity shortage in the homey. I guess I'll put a cut in here, actually. And I think the others were all subsidized. So hopefully they'll bounce back. Tanks is still expensive. Which I'm just assuming our war machines industry is not really hiring. I may have overbuilt the war machines. Yeah, they're having trouble hiring, trouble hiring. Benin, unable to fully hire. Currently hiring, but unable to fully hire. And some gave up. We're trying to build one in Friesland, which may or may not work out okay, but we'll see. We change our lot so we can subsidize more things. I think that's insane and not what we want at all. And yeah, oil, no good oil imports, tanks, no one's even building them, telephones, ditto. I wonder if we have any unproductive trade routes. These are losing money. I don't know how badly they're losing money. If some of them were using ships, we might do that. I'm just wondering, do I cancel a bunch of these? I think I will. And then, oh my God, I'm 52 minutes into this episode. I'm going to do this in between episodes. I'm going to see about restarting some trade routes, resetting up some different trade routes just to boost the economy. But yeah, we'll kill all the ones with negative revenue right now. Um, let me actually just run this for a couple of ticks on screen just because I want those changes to take effect. Oh, chemical warfare is unlocked. I don't care about the ship stuff right now. Do I care about any society stuff? Antibiotics. Healthcare investments, film into mass propaganda. Minting. I mean, maybe we've got our gold and everything like that. More tax cap capacity. We might do this or how about under production? Oil turbines. We're not going to do that. We don't have the oil for it. OK, this frees up some laborers. So we're going to go flash freezing. OK, so I'm going to go and take a look at the market in between episodes. Thanks a lot for watching another one. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.